Want to stream 120 FPS in Streamlabs? Let's get into it. Hey, what is up all my chill gamers? So as you can see in this video, I'm actually playing in 120 FPS. But this was before I had a little issue, and I will get into that a little later. But if you want to stream in Streamlabs, for example, in 120 FPS and record in 120 FPS, I'll show you how. And it's quite simple, and I'm kind of glad we all can do it now. Uh, for a long time, it was just 1080p 60 and stuff like that. So I'm glad new technology is coming out, new hardware is coming out. We actually do 4K 60, 4K 120, etc., etc. So anyway, without further ado, let's get into the other video, and I'll show you how you guys how to do it okay guys so as you guys can see we're in streamlabs right now you have your game capture stuff and everything like that's where the pc game is going to come in and you want to record and uh, i'm going to explain why i have 90 frames right here at the bottom here you're going to see that in a second but what you want to do first you know you got your capture here and you know it works and everything like that you got the uh, uh, capture card for ps5 and i'm going to explain what we need to do with that so all you have to do is hit settings and then the settings menu will pop i'm going to have to blow it up here so once you get into settings, all you want to do is get into the video. Obviously, I'm recording. I can't really change anything. So let's say you have base canvas at 1080p. And, you know, so my PC, I mean, you can leave it at 1080p if you have a nice high-end PC rig. I, for example, I have to put it down to the full uh, 16 by 9, a little lower resolution, but it's perfect. It works for me. You, how, however, I would probably dabble in it and see if it, what kind of resolution settings works for you. But this is what works for me. And I, you know what, I implore anybody to do this because actually it will help you. It's, it's not, it's not going to be too much straining on your PC anyway. So you put 1664 by 936. And right here, you're going to have a common thing right here. All you have to do is click on this down below and then hit fractional FPS, FPS value, excuse me. And I have 90, but you put 120 if your computer can handle it. For example, mine is RTX 3070 with i7 10700F that cpu is not very high it's kind of a mid to high situation so my pc was kind of straining i was kind of struggling with 120 but in the beginning of the video i did play that in 120 but it was skipping the frames and everybody knows when you're skipping frames something's happening i was like damn okay so this so if your pc can handle it put 120 here if not put it down to 90 and with the fov slider it looks really smooth okay and that's it for that so we're back down here and Elgato. So let's say you got a dual PC setup and you're playing the PS5 or whatever, and you need a capture card for whatever reason, right? You got the four. Now, there is some Elgato's or some capture cards that cannot output to 120 FPS. You're going to have to figure out which one it is. I'll put a link down below of which ones or a screenshot here, and I'll try to post it up which, which ones can and which ones can. That's ones you want to watch out for. And if your TV and or monitor can output 120 hertz. So, anyway, so once you got that situation going, you go to properties. And you just go right here. See how it says custom. So it's going to be like this. It's going to say default default device. You're going to hit custom. And p obviously. And since it's not really. Since you don't really just have a PS5 and a monitor or whatever. And a, and a laptop or something. You have a like a do PC setup. And you want to. And you got things going. You want to put it highest or match. It doesn't matter. Either one's going to put it to the max frame rate anyway. So you do a match output. And that's it. They close <laughs> and that's it that's all you have to do to stream and record in 120 fps again i can't do that on my pc right only 90 fps but you know what that's smooth enough for me it works for me and if your pc can handle it i would definitely take advantage of this guys but anyway thank you guys for watching as always stay chill and happy gaming i'll see you all in the next one peace